grace and peace to you, and welcome to Trusting God at All Times, the daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church here in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm Rev. Joe Kalis, the pastor here. Queen Elizabeth of Great Britain died during the first full week of September. She was 96 years old and had reigned for just over 70 years. I don't really know anything about the Queen. I've seen several depictions of her in movies and TV. Helen Mirren played the Queen in the movie The Queen, which covered the days right after the death of Princess Diana. Claire Foy and Olivia Colman each played Queen Elizabeth in the Netflix series The Crown. Since her death, I've been reading lots of articles and reflections on her life and her reign. She is the longest reigning British monarch ever and was working right up to the week she died. After 70 years as queen and at 96 years of age, the queen could have retired at any time and did what she wanted to do, hang out in Scotland, spend time with her children and her grandchildren and her horses and her corgis. But again and again, one gathers that she saw her role as queen not as a job, but as a calling, a lifelong calling. I understand that thinking. We clergy regularly talk about how God calls us into ordained ministry. For me, that happened when I was in college, and St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Bloomington, Indiana, helped me see that I had the gifts for pastoral ministry and that I could be an effective United Methodist pastor. We'll all keep watch on how that's going. I've been a United Methodist pastor for 25 years, and one day I do plan on retiring and hanging out with my loved ones. Maybe there will be grandchildren and corgis. John Vest, my predecessor here at Peakland, has retired, and he is hanging out with horses. I will never retire from being a Christian. Even when I one day retire from being a pastor, I will never retire from being a Christian or retire from the work of Christian ministry. Being a Christian is a lifelong calling. That's true for all of us. In our baptism, Jesus calls all of us Christians into the lifelong work of ministry. We worship Christ. We nurture our Christian faith, and we reach out with love and care to all of our neighbors, and we do that as individuals and together as a church community for as long as we are able. In the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, we read, You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of God who calls you out of darkness into the divine, wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Today and in the days to come, give thanks to God for the lifelong work of ministry, for all the ways we follow Christ and all the ways we do good in the world for all of our days. Thanks be to God. Every Saturday morning, Pastor Joe has a devotional just for kids. It's a wonderful way to start the day with the family. That devotional, along with all the rest of our devotionals, is available from 7 o'clock on. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.